Hey everyone, Sam Battersby with Griot's Garage, and today we're gonna to talk about everything pad cleaning. First off, I'm gonna talk about how to clean your pads while they're on your tool during a detail job to get consistent results and maximize the effectiveness of your pads, as well as using fewer pads during a detail. And then we're gonna get into how to clean and refresh your pads when you're completely done detailing so they're ready for your next job. To start off, we've got our orbital here and a dirty pad. This process is very simple and easy to do, so there's no excuse to not do it during the detail. You can use either a pad conditioning brush or compressed air for this purpose. I tend to like compressed air, but I'm gonna show you with a pad brush first, because you can use these obviously wherever you're detailing, even if you don't have an air compressor. Simply turn the tool on, set it speed two or three, and run the pad conditioning brush from the inside out. You can see all that polished dust coming off of there. That's gonna get rid of all the spent product, as well as any paint residue that's building up in the pad, um, preventing it from working as good as it could. So maximize the effectiveness by cleaning those as you go. I recommend doing this every panel, but at least do it every other panel. If you're using compressed air, the process is even simpler. No need to run the tool, simply take your air and blow it from the outside in and back out, spinning the pad with the compressed air. Both of those are gonna free up the pores of your pad and allow you to continue to use it for longer. When you're completely done and you've got a whole bunch of dirty pads, you wanna fill up a sink with nice hot water and add about four ounces of our microfiber and foam pad cleaner. Let the pads soak for at least 10 to 15 minutes, but you can't let them soak for even longer if you'd like. Go eat lunch or do some additional cleanup while they're soaking. But you do definitely want to let them soak for at least that 10 to 15. And then we have some pads pre-soaking here. They've probably been in the sink for right about 15 minutes. I'm going to take my bottle of microfiber and foam pad cleaner and spray all around the face of the pad. Get five or six sprays on there cover the whole pad face. And then I'm gonna sit here and knead the cleaner into the foam. So knead the surface of that pad, get it nice and lathered up, dunk it back in, and keep doing this process until you see the face of the pad coming clean. If you're doing microfiber pads, having your pad brush at the sink with you can help. Even for foam, you can use this to help loosen up some of that more stubborn residue in the pad. Continue to dunk it and agitate as you go. Once the face of that pad is looking pretty clean, like here, I've only got a couple spots left, so I'll hit those. But overall, that pad's looking nice and clean. Now I'm gonna rinse it. So turn your hot water back on. I like to use it as hot as I can tolerate. Just be sure not to burn yourself. And then rinse your pad under the running water making sure to squeeze it out until you've rinsed out all of that microfiber and foam pad cleaner. You want a nice clean water coming out of your pad, like so. Once you're not getting any suds out, simply continue to wring it out until it's not dripping water as much, and then set it aside to air dry. I like to use you know, an old drying towel or a drying rack. Dish drying racks work well for air drying those. This pad is gonna be clean enough to go ahead and allow to dry and use. However, if you have a hard time getting these clean by hand and you have some additional residue left in the pad, you can throw it in your machine washer. Just be sure to use a gentle cycle and continue to use the microfiber and foam pad cleaner at two to four ounces to a load. Wash it on gentle and then either air dry it or if you do need to put it in the machine, if you're short on time, use the low heat or no heat setting you expose these to too much heat during a drying process, they're gonna curl up on you and not fit on your backing plate quite as well. So that will eventually render the pad useless. So the longest life, to get the longest life out of them, simply air dry them. Once they're completely dry, they're gonna be ready for use again. You don't wanna rush drying a pad, make sure that it gets completely dry because if you try to use a compound or polish on a pad that still has water in it, it can often make for difficult to remove residue and things like that. Um, and you don't wanna store the pads if they have any moisture left because that can create mold in the pad. 
So be sure they are completely dry before you put them away or use them again. That'll ensure that your pads last a nice long time and you don't need to spend an excessive amount of money on buying new pads every time you detail a car. For more information on pad cleaning and our microfiber and foam pad cleaner, please be sure to visit griotsgarage.com. And as always, have fun in your garage.